We're bringing him in. A person. We're bringing you in. A person said. Okay, he says. No fighting. Done. And guess what happened? They fight. Yeah. Welcome to the world. I'm the Sophie. most hated in that group chat. I feel loved. <laughs> Feel honored to be the most hated there. Go ahead, up. morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is all about hate. Sophie, are you getting bullied it's in a group chat? It's all about hate. Hate. Are you getting bullied in a in a group chat? Everyone is. Everyone is. Do you like it? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's true, you guys. The drama is fun. Sophie loves drama. She's addicted to the drama. So many people are addicted to the drama of hate. She has a friend. And I was like, why did you add me? Because like she hates me because I sent photos of my unicorn. And she said, I don't know. And I said, okay. And then I think she had add me. All right, so Gabby, what is a hater? Oh, yeah, What's a hater? Funny. What does hate, hater mean? A person who dislikes you? A person who dislikes you? something. Yeah, so a hater to Gabby is someone who dislikes something. What's a hater? A person that hates everyone. A person that hates everyone? Elizabeth, what's a hater? Um, someone that um just hates on whatever you do, do and doesn't like you and is rude. So someone who doesn't like you specifically? Just like makes fun of you and whatever, like whatever you do. So a hater is someone who says mean things? <laughs> yeah. A hater is someone who says mean things. <laughs> So just wait, I'm going to ask you guys below to comment, what is a hater? You what do you guys think a hater is? Yes. We're looking at honey. Oh, wait, they're friendly together now? Oh, they're all good together hey, now. You know. Even Penny? Yeah, Penny likes her. So essentially, can you move Willow? yeah, move Willow. There's a big the door. man coming in. Look out, look out, look out. Chino's got a blanket on. Actually, it looks a little small. Yeah, you did tell me it was a little small. So uh, that is such a good, important question. Uh, Sophie really likes to spend time in groups, animated groups where people are like discussing each other and, and fighting each other. Anyway, Sophie really likes that kind of drama. I, I don't really care that much about it. And I don't think Gabby really cares for it. Gabby doesn't engage in that kind of a drama. Sophie engages, full head on engages. And I'm kind of like Gabby, I, that's not my thing. But the truth is drama is everywhere. Like everywhere you go, there's drama. On social media, it's easier for it to get like out of control, like what Sophie's describing. People saying mean things. The most important thing is how you respond to drama and how you react to it. If you can handle drama. If you can, if you can handle drama and still feel good about yourself, then it can be like a super valuable growing experience for you, which is what Sophie uses it for. If you can't handle drama, then it usually means you have to do some work on yourself. But I wanna tell you guys really quick before today's vlog starts what I feel like a hater is. To me, a hater is someone that hates themselves. See the difference there? Just wait, did you hear that, Sophie? Mm -hmm. To me, a hater is someone who hates themselves. That's another kind of hater. That's depression. That's depression, Gabby says. Being insecure, yep. Haters are tend to be insecure. But to me, a hater is someone who hates themselves because once you love yourself, truly, truly, truly love yourself, then you always forgive yourself for any mistakes that you make. Once you start forgiving yourself for any mistakes that you make and other people don't forgive you mistakes that you make, then you begin to realize like, well, there's something wrong with them, not something wrong with you. People who truly love themselves don't say hateful things to other people. They walk away from situations that they aren't comfortable in or that they don't agree with or they are kind and allow other people to have their own experiences it's really really hard learning to love yourself truly love yourself is such a hard thing to achieve and i think that the way society's been in the past the way we've treated one another in the past you guys know all the all through history that we are not nice to one another somehow along the way i feel like we forget how amazing we are and how important we are and how how worthy we are of other people's love so if somebody doesn't love you that's their issue not your issue and it's okay because someone who truly loves themselves would walk away from someone that they don't 
understand fully. To me, a hater is someone who hates themselves. So I wanna ask you guys, what is a hater? I know we get that question a lot on our, fam on our channel, like, People who say, I'm not hating, but I don't like what you're doing. It's not making me happy. You're not doing the way I think you should. It's not making me happy. And what I hear is, they're not happy. I'm happy. <laughs> they're not happy. So that's my de definition of what a hater is. And I don't think that just because someone doesn't love themselves necessarily, I don't think that they should be labeled and I don't think that they should be criticized or thought badly of. I think they deserve just as much love and support as everyone else because we're all human, we all make mistakes and basically we're all haters at some point to someone sometime in life. Anyways, welcome to today's video. I know a lot of people will have something to say about that, but I don't mean it in a mad, mean or a mad or a negative way. Like I said, every single one of us is a hater inside. We all have moments of not loving ourselves and treating ourselves kindly. We all have moments where we slip and where we treat other people badly, every single one of us. And I was the queen of it for a long time and I still struggle every single day working towards being better. But we're all haters. What's happening here? Unicorn. Unicorn. She's like, I don't like that. I need that hair to keep me warm. So just to clarify, these are not people that Sophie and Elizabeth know. They're just people from another country that they met online that don't even know. Like, they're not from our channel. They don't know us. They don't know anything about her. They're just like, I don't know what they're doing. But to me, a hater is someone who hates themselves. Someone who doesn't know how to find the good in everything. Because no matter what the situation, there's always a way to find good in something. The weird thing about Gino is that he loves little horses. I gotta go get Penny, we're gonna do a little video. But it's getting cold now, There's and it's time to bring away. them in. Penny's out there in the field. Maybe she'll I gotta come. go get her. Yeah, I hear her. So we brought Gino in, and left Penny out there, because she doesn't come to the, to the gate. If you leave her long enough, she'll come to the gate. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. Are you ready to come out? Did you just realize you're alone? I'm trying to take advantage of any weather that's not snow to keep up on the pasture, cleaning up the poo. Chino's checking everything out. Yeah, Gracie's so good with that baby. You can't even, I can't even tell you, like, Gracie is her mom. I feel like Sophie and Elizabeth dealing with like, we're good back to that dealing with Dealing with stress and hate online, for them, it's been a super good at helping them build skills that they need for later in life, like when they're working and when they're in another area and they have to learn like conflict resolution. And me being able to be here too and talk about it with them has been such a life-saving thing. Like, I think that's the biggest reason why Sophie is so good at handling that kind of stress. How come you're so good at that kind of stress, Elizabeth? Well, I I think they just they just enjoy that kind of She's used to all the fights at her school. Yeah, they just enjoy that kind of interaction. Like they enjoy conflict or they enjoy like you guys would be so good in debate club. Do you have debate debate club at your high debate. school? Have you yeah. Debate? You do have it? It's debating is fighting. Oh, I never had it. Debating is arguing your point. Oh, that sounds boring. Online I saw a challenge video with horses, which is like the last to spook challenge wins. The last to spook wins challenge. What if I throw so, hate at them? No, we can't be mean. You can, I, we don't want to scare our horses. We want to expose them to new well, if things. Well, I throw anyone else's horses, my horses will win. Yeah, well, don't. Anyways, like, we're going to try a little mini version of last to spook wins. So, Sophie, maybe walk down dragging that. So Sophie, every one of us is gonna choose an item. Can obviously, I do two since I have two horses. Obviously our horses are used okay. to tarps. You ready? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so the mini wins. She hasn't ever really been scared yet, so she doesn't know like to be scared. And you'd think that the other horses running would make her run, but she didn't. There's no copying. All right, you're gonna show. No, what I think you should do is, 
Okay, I'll do what I want you to do then. So now they all come back. They all like got worried at first and then they all Gracie, came back. Gracie, stop pushing me. I'm not going to kill your baby. Yeah, Gracie's getting really, Bye, really protective of the baby. What you have to do though is move it slowly on the ground because that's what you did. Good girl. Here, give her a treat. Yeah, good girl. Yeah. It's not scary. Yeah. Yeah. It's not scary. She's scared. <laughs> go slow, slowly. Sophie, go slow. Slow. I am going slow. Smell it. Yeah. Honey, eat. Try good to girl. Eat. Good girl. Just don't make her. Yeah, good girl. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you're fine. No, give her a treat for doing that. Good girl. Yeah, I see. It's not scary. But you still it's lost. not scary. Yeah, I still lost. <laughs> you still lost. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. Now You're I'm such a good girl. Like just gently. Just gently. Wow. Good girl. Yeah. Just slowly around her so that she no, sees it moving. Just slow. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So Gabby's got a balloon, and she's gonna show all the horses a balloon. She already scooped Gabby. You scared all of them. So oh, she look! She's doing ready. good, actually. I think she's doing good. Bang. Okay, I consider that a good, a good, I think that's good though. All right. Gabby, do honey now. Okay, do honey. I like you work to... Really gentle. She's just walking away from you because she's with you. There we go, good girl. I play it up on his ears. She's, she's like, I will bite it. that. She's like, what is yeah, it? Yeah, she's like such it. a good baby. Good All right, morning. don't be oh, aggressive. Oh. Don't be aggressive. Don't be aggressive. <laughs> Okay, my horse lost. <laughs> hey, that was a normal trot. All right, so the winners this time, definitely the twins. All right, Gracie. It's, whoops, it's okay. The wind Smally blew it. Look, it's a balloon. Look. Good girl. Yeah, don't uh, fight it. Yeah, good girl. It's okay. It's just a balloon. I know, it's blowing. Blowing in the breeze. Here, you got it. Good girl. Look, Penny's ready to come for this fun. How crazy is that, though? Like, if you just expose them to something. Oh, good girl. Yeah. Don't pop, balloon. Yeah. I know, honestly, it's like blowing a little and they're doing really good. Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. You're such a good girl, Penny Pickle. Yeah. They're not walking away. Good girl. Good girl. I honestly think that the reason that our horses are so not scary is because they're so used to us. Well, they're not scary. Exposing them to things that they're not used to. Like, there's a lot of changes that happen in our farm every day. Like, we put new things in their arena and we let them get used to it. And. So, how do you the winner? All right. So, Gabby, you got to film me. Okay. You know what? I think Gracie will be fine. Gracie is fine. Gracie doesn't care. She's spooked though. Because mom ran into her. Gracie's like, ew. Willow, you suck at this. <laughs> Willow, you suck. Willow, you don't poop. Now let's mock them. No, don't, don't talk to her. You're cheating. Walk up to her. Walk up. You lose. Yeah, you lose, Mom. All right, you gotta walk up to the baby and Gracie again. Walk up to me. I'm going to use you to walk to the baby. Yeah. Girl. Yeah, good girl.
You could jump on Gracie and she wouldn't care yeah. about that. Okay. What? Wins. Yeah, Honey obviously did the best, but actually, out of all of our horses, I definitely think Gracie did the best. But we want to make sure that we don't leave them like scared of it, so we're going to like take a few minutes now and desensitize them to the stuff because I don't want them like. It's okay, Penny. Come here. It's okay. It's just a blanket. It's a blanket to keep you warm. Here. See? She trusts me. Oh. It's okay. You're okay. Good girl. Just smell it. Definitely be better if we had their lead ropes on and could like desensitize them, it to them with their lead ropes. Okay. Clearly you guys are not afraid of it. Here, Gracie. Look. Look at the blanket. Look. You see the blanket? Yeah, you're a good girl. Oops, you're not scared of it. Good girl. Let's see if I can get Penny. You got it. It's not scary. You got it. Good girl. Yeah. Okay, I can't film and, and desensitize her to this at the same time. So I'm proud of them actually. Like oh, I wanted to see them. if any of them would be like so super brave and bomb proof. He Even though it. I don't know if there's actually like a truly bomb proof horse out of all our horses, my guess is I it would be Gracie. And the biggest reason that they sent sold us to her was because she wasn't bomb proof. I wasn't expecting Sophie to just run out with it so fast. I thought she'd like give them a second before she ran off, before she started running with it. So I don't think that was a true test to see if they were if they were scared of it because I think any horse would be scared of that even a horse that is used to tarp they're so calm and so confident and so and they feel so loved in their environment and I don't want to ruin that so I wanted to just take a few minutes after each thing that we expose them to and candy. why do you have a pocket full of candy <laughs> Willow's begging for it she's like I'm coming mama <laughs> I know, some people think it's dumb to teach your horse to spin because then it makes people think they're going to kick them, but she's really respectful about it. Well, she did it. You have to be kind of, she's just trying. <laughs> she's like, she doesn't know what you want. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little mini. Hello, what's wrong, hey? What can Gracie do? And he's like, I want treats. How come I never get treats? Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.